working with your MWS Trainers Kit. Congratulations on your investment of the MWS Trainers Kit. The MWS Trainers Kit is specifically designed for the MWS licensed trainers to train and empower the workforce. The purpose of this presentation is to facilitate you on how best to utilize the MWS Trainers Kit. With the MWS Trainers Kit, all the work is done for you. We have provided you with all the content and you only need to provide the context. Basically, there are two types of MWS Trainers Kit. The Basic Version and Plus Version. The Basic Version consists of three main components. The Presentation Slides, Trainers Notes and Learning Journal for your participants. While with the Plus Version, Apart from the three main components mentioned earlier, it has two extra components, which is the audio podcast and visual map. The MWS Trainers Kit is created using Neuro Linguistic Programming, otherwise known as NLP technology, as well as accelerated learning methodologies. So let's begin with the basic version. First, the presentation slide. In order to allow for better recall, each of the slides is colorfully designed to stimulate the mind. As we can see, the slides are fun and visually exciting. Next, let's view some of the actual slides. Here is empowered employees from our bonus track. What you can see here is the workshop structure, inspiring quotes and highlighted points. On some slides, you will see little stars on the top right corner reminding you that the particular slide has an activity that can be done stories and metaphors to touch people's hearts and more at the end instead of the usual you'll have inspiring poems to see them off nearing the end you will reach this slide the summary of the workshop journey where you can sum up the key checkpoints for your participants and deliver the call message again. Remember, it's best that you repeat the call message of the content at least three times throughout the workshop to create lasting impact. The slides are specifically crafted by professional visual communication specialists to ensure a good balance of content and graphics, sufficiently rich to guide the trainers and graphically pleasing to entice the audience. This guarantees powerful and effective delivery. We believe that people digest information better if they were served in bite-sized chunks, which is why for every workshop, all the content is chunked into five main topics. These cover vital tips, tools and techniques. This five chunk information will come very useful when you are planning the timing for your workshop. Depending on the individual needs of the company or your audience, you may want to spend more time on one topic and less on another. The tip here is to contextualize the content to meet the needs of your participants. One of the key skills covered during the MWS Licensed Trainer Certification Program is the ability to turn any slide into a learning activity and relate it back to the participants otherwise termed as linking. Linking is a powerful skill where a trainer can relate any item, idea or information to the topic they are delivering. Knowing how to link well is the key to making the presentation slides work for you. The MWS Trainers Kit is designed robustly to suit any industry and it's up to the MWS licensed trainers to bring it to life and make it relevant and effective. Here are some ways to link your content to your outcome and industry. You may choose to use either 1. Storytelling 2. Case studies 3. Personal experiences 4. Popular cliches or metaphors Let's demonstrate how you can do this. We'll choose a normal non-activity slide and see how we can create an activity out of it. How about this one? A simple slide with a cute comic strip. You may even pause this video here and challenge yourself. Can you make this slide into an activity? 
First, determine your workshop outcome. Say your outcome for this particular workshop is to encourage your staff to take more initiative in their work, to be able to empower themselves without much prodding on your part. This comic strip is about this little man reflecting upon his role in the universe. Just like any employee in a company, at some point of time, they will ask their role in the company. What are their contributions? Does whatever they do matter? If not, then what ways can they add value to the company? You and I are no different from this little man in the comic strip. Let's hear from the class and see whether we each understand our roles. Does what we do daily matter? If not, what else can we do to add value to our company? Here, we have demonstrated how we can elicit participation and engagement. We can also add another twist to the activity. Just ask them to buddy up and get them to tell each other how what they do matter to them and the organization. Remember, everyone's role makes another in the organization easier and more effective. Let's take another slide and play around with it. This time, we'll use a quote and contextualize it. This slide shows a quote that says, Greatness is a two-faced coin. The reverse is humility. Quoted by Marguerite Steen. This time, say the learning outcome is to create a culture of learning. I invite you to take a few seconds, pause here, and think how you would like to link this quote to your learning outcome. There are two sides to being great. One, you have to put in the hours, recognize opportunity, and be brave to take risks. At the same time, you need to be humble enough to accept constructive feedback from others, be patient and seek guidance when necessary. Learning is a part of greatness, just like a two-faced coin. You need to balance these two sides. Then and only then will you maintain your greatness. To maintain our greatness in our organization, we need to advocate a culture of learning. And that is one of our core values in our organization. To maintain a culture of learning, we need to be open to constant feedback and embrace challenge. Now, does everyone agree? Would anyone want to share some insights about this profound quote? Give it a try. Go through your content and see how you can contextualize every slide by transforming them into an activity. Remember that all activity and learning needs to be relevant and linked back to the learning outcome of what you want to achieve. That is why it is vital importance for MWS licensed trainers to be well prepared for their workshop. You must be clear of your workshop's learning outcome, your organization's goals and the participants' needs. Adult learning truly happens when it is applicable, relevant and useful. It is your responsibility as a trainer to make that happen. Engage their hearts, mind and body. Next, let's take a look at the MWS Trainers Notes, also known as T-Notes. This is a document that outlines the entire workshop from beginning till end. This is an extensive and comprehensive guide for trainers, providing vital level of security and comfort as it tells them when and how to run a particular activity or what to highlight on each slide. This is how the T-Notes look like and you have the full content of the corresponding slide. Highlighted in the blue area is the guideline telling trainers how to run the activity, what props to use, how long the activity should run for and more importantly, what debrief questions should be asked. You will have access to a diverse range of activities in the T-Notes as shown here. The MWS Trainers Notes serves only as a guide to you. The T-Notes purpose is mainly to speed up your learning curve. See the content as your blueprint to show you how your workshop structure should look like. It is you, the trainer, 
who will adapt and contextualize the content to suit your company and your audience. NWS advocates learning by doing. This is especially appealing to the kinesthetic learners. Activities not only jazz up your workshop, making it more interactive and engaging for your participants, but it also serves as a time accordion for you. So be mindful of the time that you have and plan your activities accordingly. If you feel you might end earlier than the allocated time given, you can do two things. One, add additional activities. Or two, you can also choose to conduct one of your activities as a group activity. Group activities usually take up more time as opposed to body exercises or self-reflection activities. So pay close attention to these learning activities. Each MWS content contains a different set of activity. These can range from role-playing, group discussions, personal reflections, body exercises, puzzles and games. Visit the MWS Partners portal at miniworkshopseries.net to gain access to more than a thousand more activities. Simply browse through all the available categories or key in the search word. And the MWS Partners Portal is our dedication to provide all the resources you, as our trainer, will ever need. So before each workshop, you should take time to go through the T-notes and design your training syntax, noting the key areas you want to focus, the key points relevant for you to emphasize, the activities you want to run, and time management. Remember, we provide the content, you provide the context. Next, we have the MWS Learning Journal. This is our participants' take-home material for workshop activities and future reference. It is beautifully designed to look professional and easy on the eyes. It comes in a compact A5 size, so it's easy to carry around. Or you can even choose to print it in a conventional A4 size format. You now have unlimited printing rights to reproduce this learning journal for your participants. However, if you want a professional printed copy, you can contact your NWS country representative to purchase them. Now let's take a closer look at the learning journal. As you can see here, each NLS track has its own list of guiding principles for participants to follow, embrace and embody. On the right, there's the workshop structure once again. This is an example of the layout of the learning journal. It is simple, crisp and easy to read. You'll find thought-provoking quotes for participants all over the journal. Everyone needs words of wisdom to inspire them every now and again. Now pay close attention to the right side of the activity panel. This is where trainers can apply context to the content. This portion helps the participants reflect and elicit their past experiences as references to adopt new ideas and learning, thus making the learning even more meaningful for them. You may also find a section of MWS Extra in the Learning Journal, a supplementary reading material for participants to read. This will be a plus point especially for those who love to read. Finally, we wrap up the learning journal with a mind map. This is an overview of the content of each title, allowing participants to remember even better. You can also use the mind map as your final activity in your workshops. Just get the participants to review the mind map and share their learning with a buddy or within a group. This basically sums up what you'll be receiving with the MWS Trainers Kit BASIC. It's called BASIC because it contains all the essential tools a trainer needs in order to run an effective workshop. The MWS Trainers Kit BASIC will certainly make life easy for you. No longer will you need to spend time preparing the slides, trainer's notes, activities and the participants' booklets. Now all the work is done for you. By relying on the proven advantage of the MWS Trainers Kit BASIC, the trainers can now focus in delivering the best training. Now available to you, 
the MWS Trainers Kit Plus. You can further value add even more to your participants by taking the learning beyond the workshop, encouraging participants to routinely refresh their memory and apply what they've learned to the workplace. On top of the three main components of presentation slides, key notes and learning journal, the MWS Trainers Kit Plus includes two learning reinforcement tools, the visual map and audio podcast. So let's take a look at what the MWS Trainers Kit Plus has to offer. First, we have the MWS Visual Map for the visual participants, which is a graphical representation of each title. Visual maps, just like mind maps, are useful and helpful tools in learning. But unlike the mind map, the visual maps are postcards designed for the participants to pin it in their cubicle or work area as a constant reminder of their learning and commitment. On one side, you see the visual map, attractively designed with highlighted key points and important takeaways. On the flip side, you will see this area, where participants can write down what actions they will take and why they must take those actions. This is where they set their intention, and this is where they set their direction. Especially for visual learners, the visual maps are guaranteed to help them remember key points with just a glance. Second, we have the MWS Audio Podcast for the audio learners, providing concise audio summary of the key learning points from the workshop. Let's listen to an extract of the podcast. This is Empowered Employees from the Bonus Learning Track. Welcome. Our topic today is Empowered Employees. Employees are the most important asset in any business. Having an empowered workforce is a must-have ingredient for progressive and innovative organizations today. Empowerment is the process of increasing the capacity of individuals to make choices and to transform those choices into desired actions and outcomes. It is the process of enabling and authorizing an individual to think, behave, take action, and make decisions in autonomous ways. Empowered employees appreciate that they are important to the organization and have a sense of responsibility for making informed decisions. This five-minute audio podcast can be played on any audio playback device, giving participants the mobility to learn and reinforce what they have learned from you. Especially for the audio learners, it's music to their ears as they can tune into the podcast at any time, anywhere. We are totally committed in learning reinforcement tools to help the participants take it from workshop to workplace. We believe that at the end of the MWS workshop is the beginning of positive changes. In addition, through the demands of our clients, we also provide the MWS extended version, which are nice to have tools for trainers. The extended version supplements you with a grey background designed for the presentation slides, MWS Trainers Extra Activities and MWS Workbook. The grey background presentation slides give you an option should you need to present in an extremely bright environment and through our observations, audiences who are above 45 years old do prefer darker backgrounds. Next, we have the MWS Trainers Extra Activities. These contain extra resources for the trainers. Trainers love having different activities to add variety to their workshop. Here is the MWS Workbook, which is an abridged version of the Learning Journal. We have provided you the choice to use an abridged version of the Learning Journal. As you can see here, it's more compact, paying special attention to the particularly important parts of the content and leaving lots of spaces for the trainers to help fill up the blanks. Ultimately, this is very useful for trainers who are facilitating high-level participants that want more reflective sessions or a watered-down content version for the trainers to improvise. So there you have it. 
your MWS Trainers Kit. The MWS Trainers Kit is all about delivering simplicity, where all the work is done for you. And as you begin your preparation, here are seven key steps on how you can get started. Step 1. Go through the mind map and visual map to understand the structure and essence of the workshop and core message. Step 2. Read the learning journal and T notes, gathering all the essential information and allowing your mind to consolidate them. Step 3. Next, take yourself through the slides, just to gather even more ideas with reference to what you've read and seen, feeling the flow of the workshop. Step 4. Write down your learning outcome. Think through your organizational goals and the participants' demographic and needs. You can use the Before You Even Start checklist available on your MWS Trainer Certification Workbook. Step 5. Now, begin by planning your structure and flow by starting on your syntax. Here is where you start thinking of the activities, stories, case studies to link the outcomes and making the learning relevant and useful for your participants. Once you are done, take a quick look again to ensure that all outcomes are met. Now, just give your mind a well-deserved rest as your mind works its miracle. Step 6. Some of you may want to do a dry run and that's really good, but most importantly, all of you must take a sit back and rehearse it in your mind over and over again. Imagine yourself running the workshop as you have set it up on your syntax. Remember to smile and be relaxed when you allow your mind and imagination to take over. Visualize how you bring the content to life. Hear your voice inflection and enthusiasm. Feel yourself expressing your point with powerful body language. See your participants smiling and nodding in agreement. Watch them having fun with all the activities. Imagine yourself speak with power, feeling good to make a positive difference. Repeat this exercise the day before your workshop event. Step 7. Time for you to bring the content to life. Feel yourself centering and walk in your workshop with pride. For all MWS licensed trainers, take personal responsibility to deliver excellence. Most importantly, enjoy yourself, have fun with your participants, and positively make a difference in the workplace. We are indeed proud to have you as part of the community of trainers dedicated towards empowering the corporate workforce. To your success always!